My name is Mufid Jarjur, and I struggle with anxiety. Yeah, growing up, I was a super happy kid. I was just so excited for the next day. I, uh, I didn't even want to sleep. I knew there was so much to do in a day and so many things uh, that I just wanted to experience in life. And I think it was somewhere, you know, between adolescence to adulthood that pressures started to, to come on and completely self-inflicted pressures about being able to be a certain way or do a certain thing or be good at one thing or another. I felt that I just needed to, to do more. I needed to, you know, become better at every little thing that I did. And I developed some bad habits. It started off as self-improvement and got to a point where I started to rely on my own strength takes you to a place um, of just fear and anxiety. You start to believe the lies that you're not good enough and uh, you're not smart enough. You know, you're never going to be successful. Those those feelings uh, were really, you know, can be really crippling. I had to really pray and find where God's heart was in all of this. Yeah, I've gone through some really, you know, bad points in my life. You know, where I was just in a state of panic and completely, you know, crippled by fear and the anxiety. And I was always still going back to my own strength and being able to, to stand up and just get over this. It got so bad uh, at some point that I was completely convinced that I could never read or write again. That was quite a dark place to be. And uh, when you're in those places, there's no way out. About four years ago, I was uh, working up north in the oil sands, long days, long weeks. And uh, this, this you know, anxiety and this fear was just building up and I was borderline panic for, for many weeks on end. And uh, I just remember being at the side of my bed and just crying out, uh, crying out to God and saying, God, you hear my prayers, so I need your help. And God was always there. Yeah, I do remember just feeling a heaviness kind of come off. I knew something was lifted. For sure, God delivered me from a place that, that he maybe he knew that I had reached my limit. Your source of strength has to be Jesus. I think uh, God wants us to, to experience those lows sometimes so that we can experience the, the strength and the victory. It just tastes and feels so much better when, uh, when you've been delivered from something. Fear doesn't define me. My identity has already been established. It was a gift that was freely given to me, gift of grace and salvation. And what a beautiful place it is to, to rest knowing that there's nothing that I needed to do. I spent so much time trying to you know, learn things and do things and become things. And I just needed to look inwardly and, and, and praise God and thank Him and just enjoy that place of rest. I can't say that uh, I, I'll never be anxious anymore, but uh, the difference is I can rest knowing that even if I go through you know, an episode of it, that God's always there. God's gonna help me ride through the storm. He's gonna calm things around me. Just gotta support one another and, and, and just rest in God's love. God is good um, and He wants us to rise up and be conquerors. My name is Mufi Jarjur, and this is my story for His glory. Thank you.